Okay, so hello guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So our topic for today is finding the possible values of a random variable. Okay, when we say a random variable, it is a function that associates a real number of each element in the sample space. It means to say that the values of the random variable must be a real number. Okay, so here are the steps on determining the random variables on events and experiments. Okay, so first, we're going to determine the sample space. Then we're going to assign letters that will represent each outcome. Then we're going to count the number of the values of the random variable wherein the capital letter is assigned. Okay, so let me discuss an example. Okay, so our first example states that suppose there are two doctors to be chosen from four pediatricians represented by A and six psychiatrists represented by B as frontliners for the day. Let Z be the random variable representing the pediatricians. So what are we going to do is we're going to list all the possible outcomes represented by all capital letters. Then we're going to appoint Z as a representative for the random variable. So since we have chosen two doctors based on the problem, okay, so the first possible outcome states that we have chosen two pediatricians represented by A. That's why it is AA. Okay, so why the value of the random variable there is two because the random variable is being represented by the pediatricians based on the given. Okay, so it means to say that we have chosen two pediatricians. Based on the second outcome, okay, AB, what does it mean? It means to say that we have only chosen one pediatrician and the other is a psychiatrist. So, hence, the value of the random variable based on the outcome is 1. Like the second possible outcome, VA contains one psychiatrist and one pediatrician. It means to say there's only one value of a random variable. Based on the last outcome, which is PB, why 0? Because based on the outcomes, none of the pediatricians are being chosen here. So based on this outcome, both of the chosen doctors are psychiatrists. So it, that's why the value of the random variable there is zero because what the random variable has been asking for is the pediatrician. Okay, so the possible random variable values for this problem is two, one, and zero. Okay, again, the values of the random variables are 2, 1, and 0 based on the problem. Okay, based on the second example, suppose three coins are tossed. Let H represent heads, T represent tails, and X be the random variable representing the number of heads that will occur. Find the value of the random variable X. So based on the given, the random variable represents the number of heads. So we assign X as the, the alphabetical representative of the random variable. Okay, so we're going to list the possible outcomes. Okay, so first, okay, full heads. So what is the value? So three, it means to say we have chosen three heads. Here, the second possible outcome. It means to say that we have chosen two heads. Here, HTT, it means to say we only have one random value. Here, it means to say none of the heads are chosen. That's why the value is zero. Here, in TTH, it means to say that there is only one head being chosen here among the toss coins. Here, like the recent example, there is only one head being chosen. So that's why there's only one value of the random variable. So HTH, it means to say that there are two heads being tossed. Okay. Last but not the least, the THH, it means to say there are two heads being tossed. That's why two is the value of the random variable. So hence, the possible values of this random variable are three, two, one, and zero.
So it means to say since three coins are tossed, okay, each coin has two faces. That's why there are eight possible outcomes. Okay, so keep in mind that the possible outcomes must be written in all capital letters. While the random of the random variables being counted in terms of values must be based on the given. So do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. So thank you and God bless you and have a great day.